Sorry for any background noise that you hear throughout this video. Every time I'm in the street, I hit the <laughs> Hey guys, you want to start? I'll give you story ninja story. Welcome back to the ninja story, and today we're just going to be doing a very quick review on "Tell Me Why." So before you start singing some Backstreet Boys lyrics, uh, this is not a song. This is a brand new story game from Don't Nod, aka the people that made the Life is Strange games. Um, I have played them. I, I haven't played two, but I've played Life is Strange and Life is Strange Before the Storm. I have a review for Life is Strange. I might do a review on Before the Storm. I like both of these games. Actually, I love the first one. The second one is a little bit worse, but I like it also. Um, so pretty much this is an entirely new story, entirely new, new world, characters, all that. So pretty much you play as two siblings. You play as Tyler and you play as Addison. Um, they have a very damaged past. And pretty much they finally get reunited after, I think, eight or nine years uh, after Tyler was sent away to, I think it was like a kind of like, not like boarding school. I, well, it might actually be a boarding school, but we'll, we'll move past that. Um, pretty much they come back together because they want to sell their old house and they can communicate through, I think, telepathic uh, thoughts. So, pretty much, you're just discovering mysteries, discovering the, the secrets of your old family, and trying to uncover the past, and either fix it, or damage it, or whatever. So, it kind of seems like a pretty, like, ordinary game, but the thing that really escalates this game to next level is that Tyler is trans. So, it's a very touchy subject, obviously, but I think the game handled it pretty well in their execution uh they didn't they didn't make it like right in your face which is good they kind of just like had it as kind of this background thing but also shed light to it in a way that didn't oversaturate the fact that hey he's trans he's trans he's trans i'm trans there are some points where the characters are like oh hey you're the trans kid <laughs> how's your life or whatever and making jokes about that which again is very very touchy but at the same time it didn't i think spread a wrong light into that kind of stuff and this is really my first exposure to that kind of stuff and i also want to acknowledge this was my first run through of this game so uh the decisions that i made is based on my first run through i haven't been able to play this game multiple times i finished the game like two days ago so please this is just my first run through so if you got anything different in this game, please don't say anything. Um, so, this game is split across uh, three episodes. The first episode, in my opinion, drags. And I mean, up until like the beginning, when you're meeting all the characters to the finale, it drags. Once they get to the house to that last cutscene, or before the last cutscene, I feel like this first episode drags because it's trying to set up stuff obviously which is what you're supposed to do but it does it very very slowly and the problem is that the next two episodes you're in it you're very it's very fast paced so i started forgetting a lot of the stuff that happened personally so that was fun uh, <laughs> again if you're back on noise i'm so sorry um I did like the characters in the mo in the in the game. I almost said movie for some reason. Uh, I did like the character. The characterization was good. Everything about this, like the setting up the world, it was slow, but it was effective. Uh, just for me, I'm not a huge fan of the pacing. The pacing was a, a really over all over the place throughout this whole game. Um, and also, the world of Dell's Crossing is realistic but fantasized. To the point of, it's just like a good mix between the both of them. So it's not like too realistic where it gets boring, and not too fantasy where it just tries to become something that it shouldn't be. Um, and I'm, again, I'm not a video game critic. I'm more of a movie guy, so I don't know like the video game terms or whatever. This is just me speaking off the top of my head out of what I experienced in the game. The graphics themselves, some of the characters, and the movements... Uh, the lip syncing 
it's off at times. And it's you can really tell when it's off. There are some times when a character laughs and there's like no emotion in their eyes. It's just their mouth moving and it's not even in sync with it. Um, and it's from Don't Nod. The guys that made Life is Strange made this. And Life is Strange is... It is a little iffy, but at the same time, you can tell what's going on. The lip syncing, you can tell what people are saying. You can tell the emotion on their face. And this game is kind... It's not the same as it, but... It's not the same as Life is Strange at all. It's honestly a lot worse. That's the one thing about this game that I can really, really bash on. The emotions on these people's faces is just so bad. So overall, this game was mixed for me. Uh, there's some good stuff about it, some bad stuff about it. Uh, as a double-A game or a triple-A game, pretty good. I would recommend it. If you guys like story games like Telltale and Life is Strange and all that kind of stuff, I would really recommend this game. But if you're not into that kind of stuff, this is probably not the game for you. It is very slow paced. The emotions on their faces is baffling to me. It is split across three episodes, but if you have Xbox Game Pass, it is absolutely free. So overall, very mixed for me. Um, it is a good game, but I cannot give it higher. Then a C plus. So that is my grade for Tell Me Why. Tell Me Why gets a C plus. So that's it. I just wanted to do a quick review. Uh, I might be doing a video every Saturday. That might be my schedule from now on. Um, it's going to be reviews, top tens, rankings. I'm just going to keep it simple. So I am working on another Nickelodeon show top ten, and I'm also working on the movies, favorite movies, sixty four favorite movies. So you can look out for both of those very, very soon. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Remember, the story is always right. Bye, guys.